Hi, I'm Lisa McDonald, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use the Homer software program that can be accessed through the Department of Energy's website. And this Homer software is a great tool to use to analyze different renewable energy systems uh, that are the most optimal and energy efficient for your business or home. So to get started, look up here at the top left corner of your screen and you can see equipment to consider. I've already started a project on wind turbines, but if you hit this add or remove button, you can uh, add or remove any type of system you're uh, interested in looking at, whether it's solar panels, hydropower, etc. You can add multiple generators and uh, multiple batteries to your desire. Uh, you're also going to want to consider whether or not you're going to connect your system to the grid um, or have it as a standalone. If you want to change any of the specs on your generator, your converter, or your battery, you just click each of their little icon buttons. Um, and all of these screens look the same. So I'm looking at a quantity of one generator, an example of a capital cost of $1,500, replacement cost of $1,200, and your operating and maintenance cost. Uh, this one's five cents an hour, but it can be per, uh, per hour, per day, etc. Hit OK. Next, you're going to look at your resources. Since I'm only looking at a, tur a wind turbine, I only have wind resource data here. I've already uploaded a uh, time series data file into the Homer software program. You can manually input all of this data here, however it's pretty time consuming so I'd highly recommend uh, having a data file ready to go so the software can analyze that pretty quickly. Uh, your fuel source, this one's going to be on diesel, however you can change that, especially if you're looking at a, a solar PV system, if you want to run on natural gas or biofuel, etc. Economics, if you click that button, you can analyze different uh, interest rates and lifetimes of loans. Hit OK. If there was anything that wasn't syncing properly uh, with the equipment I've considered up above and the uh, time series data that I've already input, Homer would give me an error in this section here where it says document author notes. If I clicked the little eyeglass button it would give me a little more description on what that error is and how I can fix that. So right now I'm going to hit calculate. So it's going to calculate the most uh, energy efficient and optimal renewable energy system that I'm looking at here. These are the two most uh, optimal for my project and these buttons here uh, show you indicate what's included in your system. Of course the most optimal system here is does not include a wind turbine. Um, however that's because the initial capital cost is so much lower. I'm prepared to spend that initial capital though because I'm really interested in putting in a wind turbine. So if I look at this system here shows me that my operating costs are actually a little bit lower at 21000 um, for a year, which is offset by that renewable energy that I'm producing. My total net present cost of the system is going to be about $337,630. Um, my cost of energy is going to be roughly $0.85 cents a kilowatt hour. If I double click this here, it actually goes into quite a bit more detail on all the different specs on um, this project that I'm running. So you can see I have uh, one 10 kilowatt wind turbine, I've got a 15 kilowatt generator, size 8 Trojan L16P battery, and a 6 kilowatt inverter. Here's a breakdown of some of the costs, net present costs, cost of energy, and my operating costs. Um, you can look at the different uh, cash flows here, give some great uh, examples of bar graphs, etc. Um, another thing I'm really interested in is the um, electrical output. So this is showing that the wind turbine is going to produce about 8,337 kilowatt hours a year. Um, and it's going to also have an elect excess electricity amount of 18.4%. Um, and then you can just, you know, go through all these different tabs, uh, have some great graphs that you can use in your presentations. Um, and I think this is a really great software program to use to analyze different systems and find the one that's most efficient for you. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for visiting.